Chima governor of Enugu State, Senator Chimaroke Naman, has said that the story published by some online media that he forfeited $41.8 million to the United States government was a concocted report. Naman revealed that the story was fabricated by supporters of the standard bearer of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, after he openly pledged support for the APC presidential candidate Ashwaji Bola Metinumbu. Then you are in PDP. Let's even leave that. You are in PDP. You are supporting somebody from APC. The best thing is it not to just to come to APC because this is what I call interparty. Because what are you now doing in PDP? You are not even accusing the PDP that they they are supposed to sanction you. You are laying, you know, pointing a uh, uh, accusing fingers on other people. Okay, well, concocted story. Oh, because uh, you are supporting. Uh, Tinubu, the former governor was also alleged to have opened, waged a relentless war against supporters of Obi on the social media. Namani added that the online medium that published the story, Gazette uh, Nigeria.com, deleted the story and the web links after he reacted and faulted the report. But, this, but some other platforms are still running the news. He said in a statement, which he personally signed and made available to journalists in Abuja that the report was concocted to malign him because of his alternative views on the political development in the country. Campaign of calming, intimidation, insults and abuse orchestrated to suppress and diminish my voice. However, my voice will grow louder and more persistent. I know my recent position will attract these attacks by those who cannot tolerate alternative views democracy allows alternative viewpoints there was no such judgment anyway i left enugu state on a solid foundation 15 years ago records of our accomplishments is an open book no amount of misunderstanding or modeling can rewrite our history i urge our people and nigerians nigerians generally to ignore the mischievous reports sponsored by political foes and professional blackmailers, he said. According to the report, Namani was accused of stealing $41.8 million from Enugu Treasury while he was governor between 1999 and 2007. The online media claimed that Namani used the stolen phone to acquire assets in the U.S., which had now been forf forfeited following a forfeiture proceeding by FBI. The report claimed that a judge, Williams Aka, of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Alabama made the forfeiture order. It was, however, stated that there was no such report by the Department of Justice in the district, Northern District of uh, Alabama. Hmm. Now that you are accusing OB supporters, now are you sure that uh, they are the ones that did that? If I thought what you are saying is true, okay, we know. That you are a thief in the money. No be today. You start testing <laughs> public funds. All the politicians and whatever will always tell you that they are innocent. Okay. Um, he's expecting Tinubu money in pretense. He will use it to buy voters for him. Okay, the story was concocted. What if the forfeiture to the government that is the properties forfeited by order of the high court? must also be the handwork of your political enemies or to make it juicier the work of IPOB. Please, we don't even need your relevance. All we need, all we the citizens are saying is that enough is enough. You people should go and continue enjoying your loot. Leave us common persons alone to take back our country. Continue to support whoever you want. If there is any fake news or slander against your person, the court is there for you to use. There's no smoke without fire. Chimaroke Namani is a criminal. That is the kind of people that support a APC regime. Criminal thieves Nigerians want to be not old thieves. Hmm. You don't read. They did not even concord anything. You stole Enugu state money. You have been a member of PDP since 1999. You left your party presidential candidates, Atiku Abubakar to support Bola Tinubu, the APC presidential candidates. If there are people 
that should be worried is the members of the PDP and our presidential candidates, but surprisingly, rather than being angry with you, they bid you farewell. They were not worried at all of your action because you have no action in you. How come? Instead of you to bury your head in shame, you turn around blaming OB supporters to be the cause of your political irrelevance. Rele well, it's only gullible people that will be listening to you. I'm surprised now that <laughs> the big party that you are supposed to be in, is that not anti-party because you have not, as far as I know, you have not even deflected or you've not left the party. So how can you be supporting another uh, person? They are not even coming after you. Is it a people that you are not supporting that will not go and concord onto what? I don't really understand because... Whatever you might want to give to them, they will give you times 1,000. You can't even withstand the, the OB supporters. That's one thing. I have never seen any candidate that wants to, or anybody, you want to go and enter OB supporters uh, corner. They will finish you. So, why should they go and be concocting uh, stories uh, that you stole and you did not see? Uh -uh. There's no smoke without fire. This one that is supposed to be rotting in the prison but now, by now, but Nigerian being what she is, she has stated, started seeking for relevance again. APC surely will be the only platform for such a criminal to relaunch himself. And you may be the one that fabricated the news in order to make name for yourself. If you like supporting Nubu 20 times, obedience have no business with you. And we don't even care if you, who you are. Namani has ample rights to freedom of speech expression. Uh, thoughts uh, and conscience which cannot be deprived by the internet truths. Hmm. PDP should be the ones worried, not say uh, EPC, be Labour Party. But Ibu Onyoshi, Senator Namani is being prosecuted by EFCC for many years now for embezzling the Enugu state money when he was a governor and a lot of his properties and companies were seized. He's campaigning for APC because he wants to remove the hook of going to jail of his head through the APC or the help of APC. And the word, okay, Namani, are you sure you are talking, you are saying the truth? Are you sure you are saying the truth? The end will justify the means. There's no point arguing. Forget about who concocted the story. The question is if you did. Not see for point forty one point eight million dollars. How much did you see? Tell us. We can beg for presidential pardon for you. After all, they've been giving that to many governors who have been convicted. So guys, now so we see them. We see no be true. We see na lie. We na be supporters. So how then you? If uh, we be supporters, even plenty because who are you going to hold? Because now they are supposed to even sue him. So that at least he will tell us who and who concocted that lies.